After arriving at an old factory, Arnold didn't think much of the work that had to be done. He had seen many sewers like it before and started right away. But what he would soon discover would stun him behind his wildest expectations and make him call the police right away. The sewer turned out to be a very good hiding place. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Arnold was working his usual magic when he noticed something very unusual. He poured a massive amount of water into the sewer, a trick used to flush out the blockage, but instead of fixing the problem, he only made it worse. The water level rose and Arnold realized he had made a big mistake. It quickly became apparent that something was stuck in the sewer. The water barely came through and once it did, nothing about the water seemed usual. Poor Arnold got caught in something very alarming. Upon his discovery, Arnold was smart enough to immediately call the police. They soon would arrive and thank Arnold for his actions. Arnold had a lot to think over now that his job seemed to have brought unpleasant surprises and dangerous situations, but what could be hidden in this unusual sewer? And why were the police officers so grateful? Arnold, an experienced worker, arrived in the early morning at a new job. He was told there were some problems with the sewer. The sewer itself seemed very familiar since he had a lot of experience, but something seemed odd about the location. It was an old factory looking almost completely abandoned. The factory didn't seem to be still in production and there were barely any lights on. Arnold himself also didn't bring any company. After working all these years, he preferred to work alone. Looking back, he wished to have brought some company on this given day. Through the years, Arnold had come to understand that a larger inspection was necessary. After all, there could be complications to the sewer that could lead to nasty problems. Arnold walked around the factory and wondered for what purpose the sewer needed to be fixed. The factory was completely shut down and Arnold realized something odd might be going on. But being the professional Arnold is, he stopped asking questions and started right away. With this little need for a quick solution, he pictured himself taking it easy and still being done early. Arnold started flooding the sewer with lots of water a usual technique to flush out the problem. This is where things start to go south. To his surprise, the water doesn't return to the starting place. Was I wrong about this sewer, he asked himself. Then the water finally arrives at the starting point. But the water seemed unusual when it came back. The water seemed to be colored and had an extremely unusual look to it. Arnold doesn't hesitate. He realizes he might need help from one of his co-workers or at the very least more equipment to look into this strange situation. Arnold decides to leave the factory for now, takes his car, and drives toward the storage of his work. At the storage, soon another complication to this mystery would occur. To Arnold's luck or the thought, he ran into Evan, an experienced employee. He asked him for a few minutes, and Evan responded cheerfully sure, how can I help his attitude would soon change. Arnold quickly explained, and once Evan understood what place he was talking about, the expression on his face drastically changed. He then proceeded to leave the building with no attention to Arnold at all. What just happened, Arnold was stunned. What just happened, he tried to think of wrongs he might have done, but was certain about his healthy relationships with his co-workers. At the same time, he couldn't just ignore the alarming signals. He was determined to find out about what was going on, and this turned out to be the right thing to do. For the second time this day, Arnold arrived at the factory. He parked his car and rushed toward the sewer. Arnold couldn't help but feel annoyed as well. He wanted to be home by this time, but home wouldn't be on his mind for a long time. When Arnold arrived, he saw the ribbons around the sewer being cut, and he quickly realized someone had been there. Arnold started to run around in the factory looking for the visitor, and after a while started to scream the name of Evan, the suspicious co-worker. But it was to no use. At this point, Arnold wants to know who the visitor is. He decides to put up a camera and restore the ribbons around the sewer. Once he is sure the camera is fully operating, he leaves the factory and drives off to a parking place nearby. Once Arnold arrives at the parking spot, he opens his phone to look at the live footage of the camera. Arnold kept looking out the windows of his car to make sure he wasn't followed. It wouldn't take long before his patience would pay off. Strange behavior. The suspicious was acting very strange. He used his spotlight to closely examine the water while he stirred around in it with his other hand. What in God's name could be in there, Arnold asked himself. Once the man stops examining the water, he starts looking around the area. He uses spotlight to make sure he sees everything like an experienced burglar. Suddenly he stops and Arnold realizes the man has discovered the reinstalled ribbons and even the camera. The man starts to run right away. Would the police be on time? Arnold decides not to take his chances and immediately starts his car. It only takes him minutes to arrive at the factory. 
When he arrives, he sees from the corner of his eye a black van leaving the factory at great speed. What was Arnold to do? Arnold lets go of the potential bad guy and decides to back to the sewer. After all, he still has the equipment to go into the sewer and end this mystery once and for all. He quickly sets everything up, but before he gets the chance to go in, he hears multiple cars pull up. It's the police. They quickly enter the sewer and find out there's a stolen painting being hidden. They tell Arnold that the damage the water did to the painting was the reason for the strange color of the water. It all made sense now. The police are very grateful for Arnold's discovery, and because of his call, they managed to arrest the criminal before he was able to run for good.